Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we will be designing a Facebook post. So let's get straight into it. Appy Pi has recently launched Appy Pi Design, a graphic design platform perfect for amateurs and businesses with budget restrictions. Explore Appy Pi Design and check out the affordable pricing plans. So first of all, you just want to head over to canva.com and at the top here where it says create a design, head over to the right and click more. Wait for this page to load and then have a quick look for the one that says Facebook post. So we're going to scroll down right now and try and find it ourselves. So we've got a few different ones here. Marketing materials, possibly. Nope. No, we must have gone past it. Okay, so scroll back up real quick. Make sure you're looking at everything to make sure we don't miss it again. And okay, so we'll see it now. Here we go. So sorry, I scrolled straight past it. It's the second bar here. Social media posts. And it is the one, two, three, fourth one Facebook post. Okay, so click onto that right now and let it load. Okay, so fantastic. This is the page where we will begin our design. So we have all of the different layouts over here on the left for us to choose from. Fantastic. And most of these actually look like they're paid ones, which is annoying indeed. But not to worry, we'll find one which is not paid. So that's absolutely fine. Here we go, there's some free ones down here. Perfect. So it looks like they've put all of these paid ones above the free ones to try and trick people. But don't worry, scroll down a bit and we've got a ton of free ones. That's fantastic. Okay, so from here we've got a load of free ones. Awesome. So we're going to pick one of these free layouts and then we are going to begin designing. So let's get straight into it, yeah? Okay, so for our design, we're going to do sort of like a discount code for Black Brick Training to get any of our courses for $10. So we're going to have to look for one which is like a coupon type design. We can change it up if it's not already a coupon design, but... Of course it's helpful if it already is. So let's just have a quick scroll down here and see all of them, see what they're like and see which one is perfect for us pretty much. So there's many, many different options for you to pick from here. So you're not going to be uh, short of a choice. There will definitely be one for everyone, I'd say. No matter what you're making, there'll be one for you, in my opinion anyway. So if we could do this one, we could do this one and it could be the Black Brick Training Anniversary, okay? And then we could do a discount because it's the anniversary of Black Brick Training, okay? But we don't have to do that one, so we can obviously keep scrolling down. We can keep this one here and then add a new page if we want to, so that that one's always there in case we want to design two. Okay, so we'll leave that one there as an example and then design something else as well if we want to. So let's keep scrolling down and see what we can find. Okay, so flash sale, three day sale, up to 70% off. Okay, so this looks like the sort of thing we need. So let's go to this one here that says flash sale. This is a flash sale. Okay, so fantastic. So at the top here, you've got the text, name of the company, and then we've got the theme or the date of when it is. So of course, this is spring break for mainly Americans, I would say, because in England, you don't really have something called spring break. And then we have up to 70% off everything. And then we have at the bottom, the website address and then we've got some splashes of paint over here as well okay we can work with this we can work with this fantastic so now we're going to change this to ten dollars so just like so ten dollars there we go fantastic and we're going to change this to get any course for just ten dollars fantastic yeah okay so if i just type in this all year round and then at the top we'll change it to black brick awesome that's just what we need and at the bottom we need blackbricktraining.co.uk so we'll just change this to .uk real quick and then just change this here as well fantastic and then what we need to do is let's see okay so if i duplicate this so there we go, we have it now. So let's duplicate that. We need to grab the blacky colored one over here. I'm not sure why it changed the color when we duplicated it, but oh well. Make sure that other one is still centered. There we go, that's centered. And now all we need from this one is to have this bottom bit of text. And we need to type in it, use the code. The code black brick. Okay, fantastic. So we've got that there as well. So what we're going to do actually is just move this up and move this up. Awesome. And we want the color of this to be white as well as it fits in a lot nicer. It fits in. We just want it to fit in, you know. If it doesn't fit in, it just doesn't work very well. So this fits in. This fits in nicely. We're going to change this to, what should we change this to? A greeny color, I think. Yeah, change up to green. And then change all of these ones on here to a green as well, which are currently yellow. So change that to a dark green or a light green. Awesome. And then these ones as well, change into a dark green and a light green. Fantastic. Okay, 
Oh, I accidentally selected the same green for both of them, so let me just redo that real quick. There we go, awesome. And I think the outside is now too similar to the inside color, so let's change that to, yeah, red, that looks nice. Let's leave that like that. And then change the font of black brick up here, as that is just too basic. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not very nice, that font, so let's change that up a bit. There we go, that's nicer. And then use the same one for this down here as well. So let's just change that up too. And that was that one there. Okay, and we can bold them both as well. Fantastic. And then they stand and pop out a bit more. And then we'll add a capital B and a capital B for brick. And of course, capital T for training, just so the words actually stand out a bit more like that. So fantastic. There we go. And that's all we really need to do. But of course, this in the center here doesn't really fit in with that color theme having a random red color. So let's just put that as black as well, as of course is black brick. So yep, let's do that. And then let's highlight some of this. So let's put it in a yellowy color, I'd say. We're not sure just yet, but yeah, I think that works. This can be a very brightly themed color, okay? <laughs> so just uh, be aware of the bright colors. All the way around sale, and then exclamation mark on here, like so, fantastic. And then instead of use the code black brick and remove that, duplicate this layer here, move this below this so it's centered. I want it to be centered with that. So let me just make this a bit smaller. It says that's the center, but what we're actually going to be doing is changing the font as well. So let's change the font on here. This is going to be a very quick design, okay? And hopefully it's a good one too. Hopefully you'll like it. Hopefully you're happy with it. Let's change this to 32. Of course, you can use any of these layouts that you want. I've just picked this one because I think it pops and it looks very nice in my opinion. So yeah, that's why I picked this one. Let's make sure all of this is centered. Yep, center. Yep, that's all centered. Very nice. And so is this. Yep, fantastic. Okay, so use the code black brick. This needs to all be capitals. So let's just do that now. Fantastic. And uh, yep, I'd say that's readable. It has to be readable, of course. Otherwise, people won't be able to use the code at all. So that's very important. Okay, so there we go. Fantastic. That I like. I like that a lot. Let's just make this a bit bigger as well. Make it fit in a bit more. There we go. Fantastic. So that is what we have made. Literally took us under 10 minutes to design this. It looks very nice. It's very good. And I am very happy with it, to be honest with you. Actually, I'm going to be posting this to our Facebook page. So that is very nice. And maybe even do an advertisement with it just to prove that it is a very nice design. This just proves how quickly you can design with this. It's absolutely amazing. And what we can do is add some more stuff to it. We can add anything we want. Elements, text, background color, absolutely anything we can change. Of course, if we click this, it will change the background color like so. But I'm just going to undo all of that because I was happy with it how it was. That's fantastic. We have successfully designed ourselves a Facebook post. Now, all we need to do now is rename this up here to Facebook, Facebook post design. Awesome. Hit enter. And that is now saved. You can share it. You can download it. And you can, of course, order prints, but that is only with the Canva Pro subscription, the order prints. So uh, make sure you take note of that. If you want to order a print of it, you need to pay the monthly cost. So that's very important that you do that. And then you can print it out as a business card, a flyer, a postcard, A4 paper, or a poster. That's very awesome. But of course, in a Facebook post shape, you won't want to design it as a business card or any of that. So let's just ignore that for now. You want to do that for the business card design, I would say, in my opinion. So yeah, that's that. We have successfully designed ourselves an amazing Facebook post. Of course, if you don't like this, you can use any of these layouts that you wish and design yourself a design for your Facebook post. But this is the one I chose as I'm very happy with it and I like it a lot. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you had a great time. Hopefully you learnt a lot. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.